it's on sale, get your backup. But how you back up something you never tried before? Like, what if it breaks you out? Y'all, I need help. Send help. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. So we are rounding out the last of my hauls that I needed to film before my no buy. So this is before I went on my no buy. Don't come for me in the comments. This is all stuff that I've had sitting that I have not had a chance to film. I believe this is from one of the Ulta sales. It had to be because I don't buy from Ulta full price. And I finally cashed in my points. So I think I had like 100, 150 bucks, 180 bucks, something like that. So I didn't spend a lot, but I got a lot and I'm happy about that. Before we get into this video, if you're new, I would love to have you join the family. So please hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you know every time I upload. I have done lots of hauls. We're gonna try to minimize the number of hauls going forward, but hey, who knows? Right now, we're just gonna focus on all of the stuff that I picked up from Ulta. It's not that I I would love to put these in some kind of order, but I would rather just hurry up and get it done and go through the bag. So, first thing on top, we do have eyeshadow palettes in this one. I finally picked up the Juvia's Place, the Rebel Army eyeshadow palette. Grab my scissors. This is not a new palette. I have been eyeballing it and I have been waiting for a sale. Y'all know I love greens and I really just wanted to have this to add to my collection. Um, I think it was either 40 or 50% off. So that's why I went ahead and grabbed it now with the sale. I know you guys have seen this a bunch of times and this is my color story. This is Barbara. If it's not purple, it's green. And this is me in a palette and multi-chrome, of course. So finally decided to pick this one up. This is Juvia's Place Heavy. The next one is the same thing. I finally picked up the Chocolates palette. I've had this on my list forever. And I think for a while it was out of stock and it was really hard to get. And then it finally came back in stock and I wasn't sure I wanted to get it. But every time I saw it in store, I was like, man, I still want that palette. Mainly because I want to try it more than anything else. The color story isn't anything spectacular. I know you guys have seen this. But I just feel like I've seen so many people use this palette and they love it. And the quality of Juvia's Place shadows we all know is amazing. And this is just like super brown girl friendly, like your staple every day. Could be soft glam, could be smoky, whatever you want. But this palette is beautiful. Next, we have the violets. Same thing as the chocolates. It came out. I wanted it. Waited, 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 and it's gone on sale and then been regular price and then on sale and then regular price. And I've just watched it. And again, every time I saw it, I was like, I want this palette. So I think because I had so many points, I was just like, you know what? You've had FOMO before where you really wanted something and then you didn't get it and you were upset because you didn't get it. So stop lusting over this palette. It's not expensive. You have your points go ahead and get it. So I finally got it. Next, I picked up another tweezer, artificial lash, lash placement tool. I have one of these and I really like it. And I think all of the Ulta stuff was 50% off. So I got another one just to be able to put this one in my travel bag because the other one stays upstairs on my vanity. I should have gotten two because then I could keep one down here, but I don't need that many of them. So I think <laughs> I think I just grabbed one. I picked up a pair of lashes and this is a pair that I do not have. Okay, so these are the Kiss Lash Couture in Chiffon. This is the Cushion Flexi Band. Now these do have the thick band and these things look big. I just need to stop shopping for lashes online because they always end up looking a lot bigger when I get them than when I think they look like online. Um, these have that thick band, but it says it's a cushion band. I had lashes on with this look and it was a stiff band and I just couldn't. I don't think it was the lashes, lashes 
fault. Um, I tried a lash glue that was absolute trash and my eyes are still bothering me. I think it was just old. I had just opened it, but it's been sitting in my collection for a while. And I should have known when I opened it, it was like super goopy. And I was like, oh, maybe that's just the formula because it was something new, but it was horrible. And right now my eyes are kind of itchy. So anyway, I'm going to have to try these on. I never do my lashes in a video because it takes too long, but hopefully this band will be better than the really stiff ones, but you know, will kind of help me work my way over into the lashes with the thicker band. Next, I picked up the Clean It Zero Tri Peel Acid Cleansing Balm. This is actually a pore clarifying cleansing balm. Now I normally use the Clinique Take the Day Off Balm and I love that one. I have this, I believe I have this one already, but not the pore clarifying, I have just the regular one. And lately I've been noticing that I have some little breakouts happening, like right now on my cheek. And this I feel like looks worse than it did this morning. So I'm wondering if something I put on today is breaking me out because I don't think I had, I did not, I didn't have this many bumps this morning. So something I put on today is breaking me out. And I'm trying a new foundation. I tried it when I was on vacation and I felt like I had breakouts and then I got back and it was clearing up and now I feel like I'm breaking out again. So I have it on my chest right now. I'm testing the um, colors to see which one looks better. And this isn't breaking out and it's not itching me. So I don't know what to do about that because everything else I put on my face is stuff I've used before and hasn't broke me out. Hmm. Okay, anyway, so this, I got this because I was having little breakouts and I thought it might be nice to have an extra pore cleansing step in my regimen. I use a makeup balm, then I use a regular cleanser, and then I use a very light exfoliator as the last step in my cleansing when I take my makeup off. This is another clarifying product. This is the Bliss Clear Genius Clarifying Toner and Serum. So again, I think this was 40 or 50% off and I've tried some of Bliss's skincare stuff and I like it, but I hadn't seen this before. So this has BHA, Witch Hazel, Niacinamide, Zinc, PCA, and Sika. It says Clarity 5 Complex. Not sure how all that works, but I do like that this is a toner and a serum in one because honestly, sometimes like if I go through all my steps at night, when I wake up in the morning, I don't want to have to wash my face again. I don't always use a cleanser. I will just use a toner and then put a serum and put a moisturizer. And then so this is all in one. I will probably use this mostly in the mornings. Next, I picked up the Ulta Beauty Positive Mindset Translucent Setting Powder. This says it's infused with rosehip oil. I honestly, I think this had really good reviews. I have been considering doing a full face of the Ulta brand makeup just to see, and I have quite a few products, so um, I might have enough stuff to do it already, but I was wondering how this would compare to, I'm not going to open this right now because it looks hard to open anyway, um, wondering how, well, I can, um, <laughs> wondering how this would compare to like the Sephora setting powder because that one I love, a lot of people love it. And so, you know, I compare Ulta and Sephora a lot, even though I do think Sephora brand has better reviews. So I want to do my own reviews. So this, ooh, this feels very smooth. I do see that it has a slight, slight sheen to it. That's pretty nice. Interesting. Okay. I'm not sure how that sheen is going to look. This doesn't look like something I would bake with, but I could definitely see myself setting my under eyes and seeing how that would look, making everything look smooth, but also giving me a nice little glow. I picked up another pair of tweezers. This is the Ulta brand tweezers, and it came with this cute little set. It's actually a mirror on the inside. So it came with this little carrying case. And I think this was only like $3. You can never have enough tweezers. And especially with doing my wigs and tweezing the hairline, you need to have a good pair. So I wanted to see, I think regular price, these are still only $6. So if they're good, I feel like that is a really good price to pay. 
I'm going to slice my finger open trying to open this. Um, that's a really, really good price to pay because a lot of times the ones that I get with my wigs or at the beauty supply store just really do not have enough. I don't know, like they don't grip the hair hard enough and then I'm squeezing hard. And next thing you know, I've either pulled my skin. Oh yeah, these are nice. These are like, they're not hard to squeeze, but they're very sturdy. They're not too soft. So this case is nice too. Glad I picked these up. Next, this is the Kristen S. Style Assist Blow Dry Mist. This was on sale, I think, for 40 or 50% off, and I picked this up because I love my Kenra Platinum Blow Dry Mist. I use that every time I do my hair, but it isn't on sale a lot, and it's expensive. This is a little less expensive, and I want to say that this is not included in their prestige items, so you might be able to use your 350 off coupon, um, but this just helps with dr cutting down your dry time so you don't have to use as much heat on your hair. I wonder if it smells good because that's another thing. I love the Kenra one. Oh. It doesn't smell bad. It doesn't smell as good as my Kenra one, but I'm wondering. I'm going to spray a little bit in my hand. The Kenra one, I feel like, also adds a little bit of shine. Yeah, this one does too. You probably can't see that on my hands, but I do feel like this will help add a little bit of shine as well. So this is, I think, will be a good pick if it actually works. I talked about this in another haul. I didn't know Ulta had this. This is the Mega Babe Thigh Rescue Anti-Friction Stick. I picked up one from Amazon that I know works well. One of my friends recommended the Body Glide one, but because I had my points, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna have one to have in my travel bag and then one to keep in the house slash in my gym bag. I don't know, I need to stock up because I don't mind wearing shorts. I don't mind wearing dresses, but if my thighs are gonna rub, and chafe, I can't do it. So hopefully this works well. I will probably, obviously I can't try this on camera, but I will keep you guys updated. Comment below and let me know if any of y'all have issues with that. I know I cannot be the only one. And do y'all have any products you use or recommend, or are you interested in hearing about this one to pick it up for yourself? Next, I picked up the Undone Beauty Lip to Cheek Palette. This is their three-in-one color cream. This is a blush and lip color in one. This one is in the shade Rosewood. This was the only shade that even kind of looked like it would fit me. And it says that it's, I don't know if you guys can see this. On the website, it kind of said like it's split up into three different sections like this because you can build it up like one is more intense than the other. Oh. Uh, I don't know about that. <laughs> I mean, they all look the same on my finger and I just realized I put my hair product in there, but I mean, I don't think, I guess they kind of look different. I don't know, whatever. I think it's kind of gimmicky. End of the day, it's a lip product and a cream blush. I have been kind of gravitating towards picking those up lately just because I want to see how wear, how well they wear. And I do like for my cheeks and my lips to kind of match. So this would be more of something I would wear with like a light brown or maybe a brown lip liner and then just put this with it to kind of give my lips probably would look like this to be honest but something that would be easy to match and not have to worry about what colors it can go with I feel like this could go with warm or even a cool tone look two more products in this bag this first one is another product similar to that one but it's the Ulta brand this is the too cheeky for lips and cheeks this is a stick cream product that again you can use on your cheeks or your lips and this one is more of a berry shade it look like they kind of twisted the top up into this one so the top of it's kind of messed up but go ahead and swatch her Ooh, i like the shade i like the shade a lot i don't think there were any other shades that really drew me in for this and again if I'm doing a full face of Ulta products I kind of wanted to have something like this 
to compare to some of my other high-end products. So curious to see, like, I feel like, are these going to work well? Because even though it's a cream, like I do want it to dry down, especially on my cheeks, but then I don't want it to be too trying on my lips. So I think this is a gorgeous shade though. Definitely better than the other one, <laughs> but we'll see how it works. The last thing in the bag is this TGIN. Thank God it's natural. And of course I just smeared this crap. Um, Miracle Repair Leave-In Conditioner. This has black castor oil and biotin. This is a big old bottle and it was on sale, I think for either 15 or 20 bucks. It's a leave-in conditioner and I will use this on my hair but I'm kind of thinking about using it on my wigs too because it says it helps to reduce breakage, prevent split ends, and repairs hair damage. So might be able to prolong my wigs that I have to curl. I finally picked up the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. This is their newest foundation with skincare benefits. Is this the one? Is why do I think this, this has to be the one? This has to be the latest one, right? I know I'm not tripping. Yeah, Light Reflecting Advanced Skin Care Foundation. I picked mine up in the shade Medium Deep 3.6, and this is Bellum. Now, I've never tried this shade. I used to try, I have Caracas, and I thought that was a great shade match for me. Um, in the Soft Matte Foundation, I have, what is the name, Marquesis, or however you pronounce it. But then I went in store and I swatched this one. I know you guys have seen this. I have not tried it yet. And I was like, you know, I feel like this is in between those two and it might be a better shade. I'm gonna scoot up just a tiny bit because right now I have the Givenchy um, Skin Care Matte Foundation on my face, but I was swatching shades. This is N405, this is W420, I believe are the shades or 620. Oh, hold on. Yeah. N405 and N420. This is the 405, which is what I have on my face. This is 420. So I'm going to swatch this just to see how it compares to those. But honestly, I have NARS foundations. I love NARS foundations, but oh, I don't know. Let's try this side. Um, But because this has been so highly raved about lately I felt like I needed to try that I'm gonna hold my shirt down and try to give this a chance to dry I don't know why I put that where I knew my strap was gonna be so we're just gonna give that a second to dry down but so that's what that shade looks like and again it needs to dry down but I feel like I kind of like how that shade looks I know y'all gonna say that's not my shade but I like how it looks so we're going to give that a second to dry down, but I really just, I've had this in my cart waiting for a sale and I finally had a coupon. So I decided to pick it up. I also picked up a backup of my Grande Lash Serum. I am almost out of the one that I'm using and I have a backup. So I usually once, if I find a sale, I will try to replace one as soon as I can. So this is just a staple that I've been using for my lashes and I like to have a backup of it. In the second bag you saw in the thumbnail, I picked up, did I pick up two of these? I sure did. Well, one of them's going back because I don't need two. This is the NYX Brow Glue. I know I picked this up already. I gotta find it, but I'm sure I have it already. So if this is a duplicate, I'm gonna bring it back because I don't need another one. I had planned on doing a pick up in store and so that's why this was in my cart and then I think I had to something happened and I needed to just order it so I ordered it and didn't take it out of my cart I don't know but either way I don't need two of these so this is going back next I have the tea tree moisturizing shave oil this one is in the watermelon scent I did not know they had a watermelon scent that is one of my favorite scents and I need to smell this Yep, definitely smells like watermelon. So I have the rose and I think I have the lime. I told you guys I use this when I shave. Did I need another one right now? No, but it was on sale and I wanted to try this, this scent, so I picked it up. 
I also picked up a gel nail polish. I have the Sally Hansen um, gel UV light kit and I've been really liking to, if I don't want to wear press-ons but my nails are super soft, I've been liking to polish my nails and then use that kit. I also have the one from Madam Glam which works really well. That one's super small so I could actually travel with it if I was that extra. The one from Sally Hansen is a little bigger, so that one would be to stay at home. But I picked up this shade in Perplexed. It's this gorgeous, cool tone lilac. I love this shade. Like, I don't really love the white, white nail look, but like a super light purple or a super light blue or something like that is more up my alley. So this, I love purple, had to pick it up. Next, I picked up the NYX Sweet Cheeks. This is their, their soft cheek tint. Y'all listen, I am not buying any. <laughs> I'm like, Barbara, why? But I know why, because I was buying, I needed three NYX products. That's what happened. Because they were buy two, get one free, so they ended up being 33% off. And I was like, I don't know what, this is new, let me try it. This is in the shade Bombshell. And this has an interesting applicator. It comes out like this is a lip gloss. I wonder if you can put this on your lips because this color I would definitely wear on my lips. I mean, I don't see why you can't. People use lipstick on their cheeks. So same thing, right? Doesn't really have a smell, but that's the color right there. Another gorgeous shade. So yeah. I'm gonna keep this one. I also picked up the NYX Bear With Me Concealer Serum. And which one is this? I think, yeah, this is in the shade tan. I already have this. I picked it up, It I ordered it, and apparently I picked it up too. Trippin', so this one's gonna go back with the brow glue. Another skincare item I picked up, this is the Urban Skin RX Brighter Days Dark Spot AHA Polish. I love my Murad AHA BHA Exfoliating Cleanser. And since this one said it was an AHA polish, it has 5% glycolic acid, 3% lactic acid, L-asorbic acid, and papaya extract. It says it exfoliates dead skin smooths rough texture and brightens this says it has clinical strength vitamin c brightening boost y'all know i've been working on my dark spots to get rid of them you have to exfoliate and you have to use a treatment to brighten them so this is pretty much like an all-in-one for what i need so i decided to give it a try another urban skin rx product that i picked up is their even tone gel cleanser it says it's a gentle gel cleanser but it has four percent niacinamide Azele, oh Lord, azelaic acid, kojic, K-O-J-I-C, acid, and black tea. Deep cleans its pores, brightens, and improves uneven skin tone. I am all about skincare and brightening and evening and all that good stuff. I had not tried this brand and it was on sale, so I picked up this product too. This I just picked up honestly because it was on sale and I wanted to see what it was like. This is the Bye Bye Bloat by Love Wellness. This is a dietary supplement that is supposed to help with bloating. Y'all, I feel like as I'm getting older, my stomach is getting even more sensitive. And I don't know if it's because I spend so much time eating clean that when I go off my diet, my body goes nuts. And the first thing that happens is I get super bloated and super gassy. I don't care if it's from a lot of salt or dairy or just higher fatty foods, but I just can't take it. And I'm fine with my weight fluctuating and being a little heavier. Like right now I'm heavy compared to mm, before I went on vacation, let's say. I'm still like seven pounds heavier than I was two weeks ago. So working on getting that back down, but I was bloated the whole time. So I'm just trying out different stuff. It says that this has digestive enzymes, organic ginger root, and fenugreek. It says allevi alleviates occasional bloating, aids in digestion, and helps with healthy weight management. So just wanted to give this a try to see if it helps with bloating and helps me not feel uncomfortable if I eat something that's not exactly clean. 
I picked up this Eva NYC Main Magic 10 in 1 shampoo. Yes, I did buy the shampoo and conditioner and haul that in another video. This I picked up in store and I, I'm going to use this one more for my wigs than I am on my natural hair. So this is basically just a backup. It was on sale. I got one for my wigs, <laughs> got one for myself. So just a quick check in the way this is drying down. I really do feel like it's like this is a cool version. This is a neutral version. This is a warm. Like that's what this is looking like to me. So I can make all these work. This is what's on my face right now. This would work when I'm a little bit darker, but I could even it out. And I feel like this could work too. So shade twins. I don't know what y'all want to do with that, but yeah. Next thing I picked up is this MAC Pro Longwear Paint Pot. This was a, just a, this is what happens when you go in the store. This was not on sale. I have a confession. I bought something that was not on sale. This is in the shade Babe in Charms. Now, I don't know why I'm just finding out that the Pro Longwear Paint Pots have duochromes. I did not know that. So I picked up Bougie from the cosmetics company store and I was just like, wow, I did not know these existed. And then when I went to Ulta, Max and Ulta, they had a stand and I saw this shade. So this one, I really thought I, it was worth it. I was willing to, <laughs> like they say, risk it all. Look at how gorgeous this shade is. Like it goes from like a lilac pink to a gold green. I just think that is so pretty. And it's the fact that it comes in the paint pot formula is just, I'm still trying to accept that because I did not know that this was a thing. The only thing I will say, and I'm kind of seeing it now, I need to figure out how to use these to get them to show up because I used this, the shade Bougie when I was on vacation and I feel like it just did not give me what I expected it to give. And swatching this right now, like it looks pretty but I feel like when I turn my hand a certain like that looks like it disappears where's the shift I don't understand how do you get these to show because I don't know if I want to keep this just based on that fact like I love my multi-chromes but they need to show up like this I don't want it to disappear so maybe that is how they are and I guess that's fine but for 20 bucks like am I supposed to put something under it I don't want to put anything on top of it. So y'all comment and let me know if you've used these before, how they're supposed to work, because the way I'm feeling right now, I had already bought this before I tried Bougie. I might bring this back to be completely honest. All right. Didn't include this in the thumbnail. <laughs> I still have more stuff. We have another Juvia's Place palette. I told you the palettes were on sale. So I have rounded out the collection of Juvia's Place palettes that I want. Unless something else comes out, there's nothing else that is already out as of April 27th, 29th? What day are we? 29th, um, 2022. There is no other Juvia's Place palettes that I want. I've eyeballed this. I went back and forth whether or not I was going to get it. This is the Nubian 3 Coral palette. I have swatched this, put it in my cart, taken it out. Put it in my cart, taken it out. I got it. That's end of the story. I just love this color story. And I really started looking at it hard when I got on my cool tone kick last summer. And I love that this is a mixture of cool and warm tones. And then I was just like, Barbara, you don't need it. But I kept swatching this shade right here. And I was like, but that would be so pretty. And then I was like, but you don't need it. Like, are you really that excited about it? This shade is gorgeous too. I have it. Now I can stop lusting over it. It's in my collection. This was... I know I bought this a long time ago and <laughs> I just been waiting to film it. I put everything together and then I'm like, okay, now my haul is done. This is the Winky Lux, their cheeky rose highlighter. It's a cream highlighter and this is in champagne. I have two of their blushes. They are sitting in the box on display in my beauty room. I don't use them. Gorgeous shades. I could use them, but I honestly bought this more for the decor than I did for the actual product. Don't judge me. I feel like it's not any different than if I were to go out and buy a painting. So whatever, I choose to decorate my room with makeup. These are so pretty. Like just, 
the presentation, the packaging, and this is legit a rose. This is what it looks like. Like, y'all, it is so just, like, I just want to have it out and sitting and looking pretty. I'll go ahead and swatch it, even though I want to make sure I don't mess up the flowers. I feel like this is going to kind of remind me of the Physician's Formula um, highlighter, Better Believe It highlighter that they had. Oh, yeah, that's a pretty shade. Ooh. I see that might have to get used because I like that a lot. So we might leave the blushes on display and then this might have to come upstairs with me. This is a gift with purchase. We know how much I love Ulta and their gift with purchase. Is it? I think so. It's from First Aid Beauty or did I buy something? Honestly, I don't remember. I'm pretty sure this is a gift with purchase because what did I buy from the brand though? Maybe it was just like a beauty break or something like that. But anyway, this came with their um, First Aid Beauty Facial Radiance Pads, which I've used these before. These are like exfoliating. Yeah, exfoliating tone and brighten for sensitive skin. Pull these out right now because apparently I'm going to need them. This is the face cleanser, which I love this. I have a bigger one upstairs on my sink right now. This is their Facial Radiance Dark Spot Serum, which I have never tried. So all this is coming upstairs. And then this is their Ultra Repair Cream, which I have used. I keep this in my gym bag for days when... <laughs> we always laugh, but like sometimes when we're training and we go... We'll wear sweats over our tights, over our shorts, and then you go take your tights off and you got ashy legs. So yeah, your girl actually cares about that and I keep lotion in my bag. Next, I just mentioned this. This is a backup of my Murad AHA BHA Exfoliating Cleanser. I think this was on sale when they had their 21 Days of Beauty. They didn't have a lot of stuff this year and I didn't shop it because I wasn't gonna just, I wasn't in the mood to buy stuff just to try it. I was looking for stuff that I wanted. So anytime this goes on sale, I pick it up because full price, it's 40 bucks. Pretty expensive, but this is one of my favorites and it works well with my skin. <laughs> I have no words. Told you I love it. This is the Cover FX Future Perfect Water Optional Cleanser. This, I ain't gonna lie, I bought this because it was on sale for like... 75% off or something. I guess they're phasing Cover FX out of Ulta and I had never seen this. So I thought the idea of it was cool. It's a foam cleanser enriched with grapefruit, cucumber, and chamomile flower that gently removes makeup and impurities without stripping the skin's natural barrier suitable for all skin types. This is very interesting. It says use it in the morning to cleanse skin and in the evening to cleanse and remove makeup to use with water apply to damp skin massage and rinse to use without water huh apply to dry skin and gently massage remove with a washcloth so this might be another one of those things that i use in the morning when i don't want to completely wash my face because i feel like if i use this and just wash it off with a washcloth Maybe this is like using a makeup removing wipe without a wipe. I don't know. I just know when I wash my face in the sink and I have makeup on, I have a mess everywhere. So if I don't do it in the shower, I usually use a bunch of makeup wipes and make a mess everywhere. So I think that was kind of my reasoning for wanting to try this to see if it helps, if it works well, but also eliminates me making a big mess. Next, I picked up the Leandro Limited Baby List and Conair collaboration. These are my favorite combs to use when I'm combing my hair out after I shower and I wash my hair. I have one of these in the shower, I have one upstairs, I have one in my travel bag. I feel like these do not break my hair. They're big enough to help detangle on wet or dry hair and it just doesn't pull my hair out. I love these kind of combs. Teeth are pretty far spaced apart and it doesn't like pull and tug on my hair. I picked up a Cover FX Power Play Concealer. Y'all, again, because Cover FX was going out of, I'm not going to say they're going out of business, but they're going out of Ulta. This is in the shade N4, N Medium 4. This kind of looks separated already. Or maybe not. Okay, it's fine. 
So honestly, I have this already and I haven't tried it. But the shade I picked up was too light and I think that's why I haven't tried it. So I know this shade is better, but that doesn't... <laughs> that does not give me an excuse. I know it doesn't, but I really still want to try it. I just knew the shade that I have kind of deterred me from trying it. So now I'm more likely to try this one. This is back from my birthday gift. This is the Purity One Step Facial Cleanser. This was the birthday gift that I got this year. So for some reason they gave me two. I ordered one and then I thought that was going to be it. But when I went in the store to use my coupon, for the $10 off they gave me or whatever, she gave me this again, so I was not mad about it. Thank you. This is the Jane Iredell Smooth Affair Brightening Face Primer. I have never used anything from this brand, and I'm not sure what makes this brightening. It says, enhance skin by improving texture, minimizing pores and fine lines, and giving a soft focus in appearance. It says there's coconut alkanes in here that do that. And then grapefruit extract is a natural skin brightener that promotes luminosity and radiance. Sensitivity tested. Brightening, blurring, and hydrating primer. Also preps the skin for makeup. Yeah, yeah, we know what primers do. So never tried this brand and it was on sale. Always love trying primers. Do I have anything? No, I don't have any. Oh. So let's go ahead and swatch her, see what she looks like. Feels like a moisturizer, has a scent, smells very citrusy. I'm just waiting to see. Okay, it does, I do see how it could be pore smoothing and I do see a little bit of a glow. So, okay, this kind of has like that, it's not silicone, it's not that slippery, but I do kind of feel that slip that gives that smoothing effect. This is the Strivectin Multi-Action Super C Retinol Brightening, Brighten and Correct Vitamin C Serum. I went through a whole bottle of this already and I loved it. When I saw it was on sale again, I picked up another one. I'm gonna put this in the back of my skincare drawer because I have others that I need to use, but I knew I loved this one so I wanted to get it while it was on sale because it is very expensive. This, I think I have this already. I need to find where my eye creams are. This is the Kinship Bright Wave Energizing and Brightening Eye Cream. We are on a kick here with brightening. So I think I have this already though, and I don't think I've used it. I'm gonna have to check. All this stuff I know I bought on sale, so I don't know if that was my reasoning, like it's on sale, get your backup. But how you back up something you never tried before? Like what if it breaks you out? Y'all. I need help, send help. This, ooh, see, I've been having this sitting in my box forever and I haven't tried it. This is the KVD Good Apple Lightweight Full Coverage Concealer. I forgot I bought this. Oh man, I picked this up in the shade Tan 173. Now, I forgot I bought it, but I tried it. I tried it out and initially I felt like this shade was too dark for me because you know how I like to wear my concealers, but then I wore this just as like I need to cover up under my eyes. I'm not really trying to brighten and do all that like I would with my makeup. And this shade is like perfect for that. So I am gonna keep it and it's just not gonna be my super glam under eye concealer, but this will be more for like my everyday just trying to look awake and not have everybody asking me if I slept well and telling me I look tired. Cover FX Natural Finish Foundation. This is in the shade N80. I believe I have N90 already in the Power Play Foundation. And I remember a while back when this came out, Makeup Shayla was talking about how this was one of her favorite foundations. And I just never tried it. And now that my skin is more normal versus oily, I felt like this would be a better fit for my skin type. And also my other one, I probably should have went with N90 now since I know how I like to wear my shades, but this is N80, oh yeah. <laughs> really? And the bad thing is this is going out of stock. Ooh, this feels really good on top of that primer though. This is going out of stock, so I probably will not be able to exchange this 
And I'm not going to keep it just because, yeah, I'm not going to keep it. I'm going to bring it back because this is too light, I think. Yeah, that's too light. So I'm going to bring it back. Getting to the bottom of the box. This is the Glaze Semi-Cured Nail Strips. This is in the shade, does it say? Night Sky. I have been loving these. These are very similar to what basically what I do. So Color Street, you know I talk about the nail strips from there. Those are literally like polish strips. They smell like nail polish and everything. They are very soft. I use a gel clear polish and put that on top of them and then I set my hands in the UV light just to give a little extra strength to my nails. This is very similar. You do have to use it under a UV light. They come already kind of cured, so you fit it to your nail and then you harden it the rest of the way. I love stuff like this. It just makes it so easy to make my nails look like I'm trying to be more beauty <laughs> conscious versus walking around with my little nubs. So I haven't tried this type where it's semi-cured already. So I just wanted to see how these work compared to my others. Okay, I finally decided to pick up something to help take my gel nails off. When I tell y'all I am horrible, when it starts peeling, I just rip it off. You know what that's gonna do to your natural nails? Exactly. I do it to my fingernails, I do it to my toenails, and I am paying for it right now. So I picked up the Dashing Diva Red Therapy Remover. This is their artificial nail remover, and I do believe it's a gentle solvent that softens and dissolves nail adhesives without damaging your natural nail. It says you just apply this to the cuticle line and then use a manicure stick to gently and slowly separate the artificial nail from your natural nail. Does not re remove traditional nail polish. It says it's infused with castor oil and provitamin B5 to moisturize nails as well. I wonder if you can use this for your gel nails. Because I think that's why I bought it. I need it with the glue-ons too because I ripped those off too. I'm horrible. But hopefully it works for both. The nail strips and glue-on nails. Here's my other birthday gift. Told y'all I got two of them. I'm going to bring this back. This is way bigger than what I thought it was. I wanted to get a spatula. And I wanted to get this to help with if and when I get into gluing down my wigs. I've seen that if you use a spatula to spread out the glue and make it the thinnest line possible, it will help melt the lace into your skin and not have like a bunch of gunk. And so this was really cheap, but it's freaking huge. I mean, I guess I could still use it because I don't have one. And I've also seen that people just use like the popsicle stick, spatulas, um, so I guess that's an option too, but I just couldn't tell. I guess I could still use it. I couldn't tell how big this, look at that. I could still use it, I guess. I just couldn't tell how big it was on the website and I thought it was a lot smaller than this. So I'll keep it. It's just bigger than what I thought. I picked up the Benefit Professional Super Setter Spray. I do have this already. This was on sale, I believe, for half off during the 21 Days of Beauty, maybe. I don't know, but I use setting spray all the time. I never leave the house without setting my makeup, so I picked up a backup of this. A few more items and we are almost done. I picked up a set of nails. This is the Impress Medium Length Press On Manicure. These are the ones with the glue tabs on the back that you do not have to use glue. I like these for when I just wanna do my nails for like four or five days and I know I'm gonna have to take them off because they're easy to remove. And I hadn't seen this style in the store before. It's like a, um, what you call this? I can't think, like a French manicure, but it's like a clear kind of off-white pearly color and it goes to a purple. And then the accents are purple and silver. So thought these were cute and I don't have this set. So cannot wait to wear these for a dressier occasion because that's a bit much just for every day. I picked up one of the Cover FX Mineral Foundation Press Powders. Again, I picked them all up in the shade N80, and I'm guessing this is going to be light too. I th 
This is so disappointing. Yeah, see this is a little light, but honestly, that looks really yellow. I don't think this would be bad if my foundation was dark. So I can work with this. I just can't work with a foundation that's already light. And I don't know, I don't like mixing my foundations. I have enough of them. I could mix that though. Now I'm thinking about keeping that other one. I don't remember, I might've paid like four or $5 for it. So it kind of makes me just want to keep it, but then that's, I feel like that's hoarding. I got the foundation, the power play in shade N80. I'm not even going to open this. Or I could mix it with my power play. That just, I can't believe how light that is. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to put it in the box. I'm not going to mess with it yet. I'm going to sleep on it because, oh, that disappoints me. Last thing. Is this the last thing? Yeah, we went through this pretty fast. This is just a, I'm a lip product addict. Not necessarily, y'all know, I will wear the same color lipstick every single time. But this is a lip mask. This is the Winky Lux. Lip sleep, mini lip sleeping mask. I think I got this as a free gift. I did because I bought that highlighter. So I love keeping these in my purse or traveling with them. And this is a little mini. And I thought this would be cute to see how it compares to the Laneige and all my other nighttime masks. All right, guys, that is it for this haul. It was a good little hodgepodge makeup, skincare, a little bit of hair and some stuff where I'm just like, Barbara, what were you doing? I feel like when I get into that, I need to stop spending. I go a little crazy at the end buying extra stuff and then I cut myself off and I'm okay. So I'm gonna go through this stuff, see what I need to return, not open stuff I don't need to so it doesn't go bad, but I'm gonna enjoy those eyeshadow palettes because I'm glad I'm finally rounding out my collection. Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Comment, y'all watched it. Answer my questions about the other stuff I asked and let me know what you want to see in a video. I will see you guys later. Bye.